Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to From Both Sides, starring your beautiful, very purple host, the Deanest of Coons, yes, yes. the unknown artist, Absolutely. also known as the Curly of Cues. <laughs> with your other host Faja here we are da, 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 da. anyway yay we made it to the part of it anyway. the <laughs> wow I, I don't know what that was I'm gonna be honest anyways topic of the day because right. uh, you know we, we do our icebreakers but we always announce what our topic is and I did not choose this topic this time around. I'm going to no, let you and, actually discuss it. Well, it, during that podcast, when we were talking about some of the other stuff we were talking about, we were talking about superhero people. And mm -hmm. I just thought, while we were sitting there, I thought to myself, you know, it's that would be kind of a crazy thing to do a podcast on if we think there really is superhero people in today's society. And I also brought up the topic of vigilantism uh, and whether we agree with it, whether it's something that we think is a good idea that benefits people, or maybe not. So, mm -hmm. before we get into all of that, yep, icebreakers. Okay, this scares me because you did not tell me there was going to be did, an icebreaker. I did, but you weren't paying attention. You say that. I told Every you. Every time, whenever you don't tell me something, you'll say that, and like... I really did. <laughs> anyway. doesn't. Did we start the podcast yet? <coughs> okay. Anyways, uh, okay. So, what my idea was for today, since we're discussing superheroes, vigilantes, all that good stuff, I wanted to discuss, at least for to get like a better insight into us, is our favorite superheroes and why. Oh. Maybe our favorite villain, maybe our favorite superhero, why they are. And it can be from any generation, era, and Could whatnot. Could it even be cartoons and stuff, Yes. Too? Wow. It could be live action, That's like Adam West type of style. Or it could be cartoons like Mark Hamill with his Joker. Wow. You Animated know, that's, series. That, wow. That is, that's a good. I wish you'd, I wish you'd gave me a four sight on that one coming up. Because I did I, mention it, but he doesn't pay attention. Yeah, but I mean, was it enough? To, like five minutes ago before we started podcast is not... Yeah. No, I don't not. get to see you except for like 10 minutes before we podcast anyways. <laughs> Tell me where the lie is on that one. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, wow. Boy, there's so many. I really do, like, I am so much into Marvel and DC and all that stuff. You know that. Mm -hmm. You know a lot more about it because, believe it or not, I don't read a lot of the magazines or excuse the, me, the comics, comics the stuff. manga. The, he doesn't watch do a lot of the cartoons because I hate reading. But I'll be honest with them, getting back into reading. I started You're reading a, new, a lot more than I am. Oh yeah, well that's because I just started a new a series called The Dragon Chronicles. Good, good book. It's by D. Lacey. Chris. D. I heard you practicing that the other day, Chris saying, De Lacey. The, saying the name of I the author. I was trying to explain it to somebody <laughs> because they weren't getting it. I said finally, you know. I think I, he's. Who was it? I think it was Jordan, maybe. Uh, no, it was, well, it could have been, I might have been telling Jordan, but I think I was telling Barb, because she maybe. wanted her sister to start reading the book and everything. So it, anyhow, it's a really great series. I, series. I got six books, and I've read the first book, and I'm almost halfway through the second book already. So, yeah, I'm, I'm cranking through it because it's a good series. Anyway. I just do comics. What got us to the read? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Favorite hero or villain? Stay on track. Why? Stay on track. Anyway, no, see, because now you do the comic stuff. I do. Now, I when do I was really, 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 really young, mm -hmm. I loved reading the comics. But I'm <laughs> kind of a picture guy myself. But Graphic I, novels. Yeah, I, I like looking at pictures because was, art was my big deal. But so I loved watching. I got to, uh, when I was younger, I got introduced to a guy um, that drew uh, superhero people, the mm -hmm. muscles and everything. Oh my God, this guy was phenomenal. Really, really, really good. In fact, I don't know whatever happened to him. Joe Spearman, I don't know if you're out there, but man, he was really good. I thought he was going to become one of those uh, 
creators of a new magazine or something. Artist, I comic mean, book artist. Yeah, comic book artist, but I don't know if he did. Man, it's almost like the channel name's The Unknown Artist. <laughs> Sorry. So anyhow, to get back, you read them, I don't. So, yeah. but I was always into all that stuff, but he knows all the deep, deep details because when you, you know, you get all the backstories and everything else when you read it, you do a lot more than I do. <laughs> Let me put this, there, a lot more than I do, okay? So anyway, I just watched it, <laughs> watch it mostly on TV. Superman was on when I was a kid, and Batman was on when I was a kid, the, the hokey Batman. But it was well, one of the first one on TV. Walking though. on a flat surface, but make it look like the side of a building. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was, yeah, that was really hokey. Superman was fantastic, though. And and I always, uh, I think, it, to this point, He's still probably the my my most favorite superhero. Superman. Because he can do he's super powerful. Now which one? What? <laughs> There's only one Superman. I mean you could go off like you your T V series or like the was it small Superboy or, or small... what was the other one about the the Daily Plan or uh That's where he works. Small Smallville. Smallville. No, those those came after Superman. The original Superman uh Oh so you God. like the live action then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they the old okay. Yeah. All right. And when he'd run and take off jump and he'd be flying in the air and everything. Jumping over always buildings. Always the same music. It was always the same yeah. stuff. But it was a good show. It was a really good show. But <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I look at it now, I say, gosh dang, that Superman don't look like he had a lot of muscle. He looked more like he was stocky. Yeah. You look at the original Superman on, on the TV, he was not muscle-bound. I mean, neither was Adam West when he was doing Batman. Exactly. Had, they I were think stocky. he actually had a little bit of a oh, beer, yeah. beer belly. He looked more like me, you know? <laughs> but anyhow, they did. I, and I thought to myself, gosh. But we thought they were, back then, we still thought they were cool as all get-outs. I mean, right. They looked tough and everything. So he would have to be, Superman would have to be it. The villain? You don't have to pick a villain. I just was saying one, okay. one well, or the other. Superman is... Superman and mainly it's guy. because he was kind of like a... Because he always was the good guy. And back then, the good guy winning and saving and defeating the enemy was what life was about. That's what it was, really. Right. You felt great when some of the good guy always won. That's what it was. Unlike what we're talking about, the Joker. Ooh, oh. and then he starts supporting it. How the times change. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I will say... If we're talking comic books and all that, for for example, for cosplay, you guys know that I do Red Hood, and he's kind of like that anti-hero vigilante type of character, and I think the reason, ooh, that goes into our topic, uh, I think the reason that I actually like him so much, I would say he's probably one of my favorites right now, and the reason I like him so much isn't because like his cocky uh, character and persona and such. Because I know, for example, on the Titan series, the live action one that they're doing right now, which, by the way, season two is really good. If you guys haven't watched that, go watch it. First season's kind of little. You're not sure if you'll like it or not. Season two, they get real yeah. good, real fast. Yeah. Um, but the Jason Todd in that series, um, he's really like he's younger. He's immature. He acts really snarky and he, he's full of himself very much so. Um, hmm. Kind of reminds I me think... of Star Wars. <coughs> Um, Darth Vader. Anakin. Anakin's, yeah. But I think the reason why I like Red Hood so much is because after he gets killed off in the comics, ooh, spoiler, um, for like, I don't know how many years now, but after he gets killed off in the comics, he ends up getting resurrected in the Lazarus Pit, which is like this goo that Ra's al Ghul has, and it brings him back to life. Mm -hmm. But because of his death and seeing how, like, the way the city is and all that, he, he grows he grows immensely as a character he gets very mature he's still like snarky but i mean he'll say things like oh no i've been bamboozled and stuff like that yeah. you know like more anti-jokes um but i don't know he's just really sarcastic and he's certain of himself and what he's doing um but he's not so immature and like kind of annoying as a character once he becomes that persona um, and it's not, at least the Red Hood that I like isn't the one where he's like, oh, I hate Batman because he let me get killed off and blah, blah, blah. Like in Arkham Knight, that one got annoying really quick. I'm talking about the mature one that knows what he's doing and he's taking care of people. Like, for example, Batman's main rule is like no killing, right? Yep. Whereas Red Hood, 
he if I mean the way he views it if there's people trafficking kids and selling drugs and getting kids and people like that killed he sees them as trash he'll take care of it and unlike Batman where he's just like oh I'll throw him in jail and he's like it doesn't solve the problem and that's kind of like his way of doing it I'm not encouraging murder that's not where I'm going with that huh sounds but, like a subway scene we were talking about Joker <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> Which I want to correct my statement on that still, but I'll get to that. But no, I would say Red Hood just mainly because he's so self-assured as a character and he just... No, that surprised me a little bit because I really thought a long time. I, Batman was... You watch that a lot, but Batman's when Batman, Spidey yeah. came out, you were uh, hooked on Spidey. I still am hooked on Spider-Man. I think as per the MCU, mm-hmm. I was really worried... I mean, we were getting every doggone Spider-Man game and then playing, oh, my God, all hours of night trying to get all the new costumes and stuff. <laughs> all the new costumes, yeah. the oh, media they were rights. Some awesome Don't forget the media there. rights. We yeah, had to get they, the media oh, yeah, rights. They were cool. Um, that was definitely No, cool. I will, yeah, I'll say Spidey's still one of my all-time favorites, and I think the best rendition of him still, as of right now, mm-hmm. I mean, yes, we have, you know, Tom and MCU, um, but I think our best rendition is still the PS4 yeah. Yuri Lowenthal one. It's just because he's so, I, I don't know. He, he's just, he makes jokes. He cracks them off right in the middle of battles and stuff. He's such a nerdy, uncertain guy. And he's like, oh no, am I going to mess up? You know, that type of thing. I I don't know. I still love him as a character. I think that's the best one mm-hmm. that we have at the moment. And That's yes, what I thought you were saying. I really did. I thought you'd say that one. I, I still, or, yeah. I'll say MCU is definitely still Spidey. DC would be Red Hood. All right. So because it's kind of like that counter. Yeah. It's that counter balance kind of thing where it's like I like the really good character that always does good because that's he fits more my persona. I don't really do a lot of stupid stuff, right? I try to always help out my friends and help out family and stuff and always try to be there for everybody. But I generally over schedule myself to the point where I can't always do it. Um, and then Red Hood's kind of like that more brutal kind of this is the way that it is type mm-hmm. of deal, you know. And I I don't know. I love the character. So, yeah, I'll agree with you yeah. on that one. That's what I thought. For MCU or for Marvel and then for DC. Yeah. I don't know. See, I like a little bit more. One thing I didn't say was Iron Man. I really like Iron Man. Yeah, a lot I know too. you do. It's because he's I cocky. I love and... the cocky <laughs> shit. Oh, my gosh. And he's terrible. But yeah. But he, the thing is, that's the thing. He knows what he's doing. On the ruse. He knows what he's Clap. doing. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like, that's. I. I see that when I see that in a real person and they know what they're talking about, I don't mind them being cocky as long as they know what they're talking about. When they try to some pour people the, get annoying pour the with crap it. Though. On. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's annoying as all hell sometimes. No the comment character. on to who. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> no, we're not referencing All right. That. So there we go. And so that gives a little more insight thing. on that, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And you guys, let us know down below in the comments uh, who's your favorite hero or villain, anti-hero, you know, et cetera, and why. And yeah. maybe best answer will get to tell us to do something. That's... We still haven't gotten any, by the way. We've gotten tons of comments and stuff about the podcast mm-hmm. and what people think of it, but nobody has still pressured us into doing something and picked who their favorite mm. answer was. So That's I don't know if you guys are catching on to that or maybe you just don't want to bully us because they know they I bully don't us care now. if they do or not. Just don't have me paint my hair purple. Just, just a I still have half a okay. bottle left to dye. I know that's right. it'd have to be something really good to make me cut because I because my position where I'm at I don't know if there is by the way and I can bring this up on this because uh, my editors and I have been talking about this quite a lot there is a movement going on right now with streamers and content creators to get uh, it's like a planting trees movement for like every dollar or something like that sure. they plant trees and so maybe maybe if we got. A hundred bucks raised up at least, I would say. At least as a minimum. A hundred as a team. We could get you to dye your hair or something. That would be fun. I wouldn't mind doing something like that. Yeah. I wouldn't. That would we would cool. have to plan out Planting heavily, the though. trees and so much, but the second one where you're... I, I think both I, of them are good. Yeah, it is, but especially with I like the stuff that's going on with California, people. and then like the whole rainforest thing, yeah. the rainforest lighting on fire, which that I still think is, it's the natural system of it. But I don't know. It that's, is. Whole nother discussion. Yeah. Anyways, whole, whole way off topic. All right, 
back to our topic of the day. Okay. Because we tend to talk and talk and talk and talk. All right. So. Yes. You were going to let me. Like, I'll let you do your part and then I'll do my part. Start it out and stuff. Yep. And I do got some footnotes. And I got They're some. not a lot. And I don't use like trying to do this, but there's a lot of people's names and stuff in this that I wanted to try to remember because right. uh, I, I can remember it's been about six months now. I was looking through uh, some of the stuff on I watch. I mean, I'll look at whatever Microsoft's page is when you get on the Internet mm-hmm. just to see what's happening and stuff. And I remember I ran into an article uh, I, about superhuman, hu- superhuman people's strengths, you know. And I, uh, I just got interested, so I start looking through some of the stuff. And uh, it's pretty amazing the people that are out there that have some of the strength that they have. Like being able to pull trailers and stuff like oh, that? Oh, like or? strong, strong people. I yeah. mean, it's really amazing. And some of the stuff I wrote, wrote down, like this is stuff, and I got to wear my glasses. I still can see far away. It's just the up close. There we he's, are. He's still old is what he's saying. All right. So that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. So here's here's some of for examples. Yeah. What, what do we mean by super? For, I guess we should. That's something we didn't decide to talk about. Genetically, what is a superhero? What would be you consider a superhero? Well, most superheroes have each one of them had their own super strengths and their own care. I think, and it doesn't mean just strength, I mean, super abilities that's characteristics, too. Yeah, or characteristics, the things that make them unique, like Batman, for example, being they're, they're you know, they're all being good or whatever. But like Batman's the intelligence, Superman's the strength and the speed, Wonder Woman was being able to have the ability of pretty much in vulnerability and flying and then also and the too. the truth yeah strength um flash being super fast um heck iron man in that same sense being smart and thor and being, being able to put all that stuff mechanic technically together yeah, yeah thor cool. with environmental so, stuff, so here's here's some here's some people's names i wrote down and their abilities and you can ask me a little bit more about some of these because okay. i can tell you a little bit about them but veronica cider is her name Mm-hmm. She has visions, superhuman vision. Now, I'll, I'm going to go down and I'll come back to some of these people. Daniel Timmett. Mutation? He's, he's kind of, I don't know, I explained it. Okay. okay. Uh, this will drive you nuts is what you've had to deal with lately. But anyway, Daniel Timmett, he's kind of, he's an autistic person, a little, but he's he's very, he can work with his autism really well. So yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a high um you can work with it. I can't what they call that, but anyhow. High functioning. High functioning. Thank you. That was a word. Uh, he has him the ability to uh, memorization, and he can memorize numbers the amount from pi to the twenty-two thousand five hundred fourteen position. Three point one four one five nine, and that's as far as I and, get. It goes, go, 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 <laughs> go, go. Well, yeah. put time. Put twenty-two thousand five hundred fourteen on top of that position. So pi. That's how great this guy does, and I mean he's just I think I've he's seen amazing. Him before actually, where he does do uh, speeches and talks and yeah. everything, so he's got a, that kind of ability. Now, would that do it good at the gaming table? Yes. Memorizes every Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Well, there's be able to memorizing all the opponent. cards and stuff. That, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, and then there's Rajumun Han Nar. He can conduct electricity. Now, most people will die with a certain amount of amperage. This sucker just swallows the amperage. It's, he can make light bulbs. He could make small electrical. And I say small, but I mean like a grinder. I wouldn't say he could generate it. He no, can. he d- uh uh-uh. <laughs> You listen to me. I'm telling you. He can. He, he puts one part on his tongue and he puts the other part up on, the, on, his, on his skull, and he can actually make the grinder take off. I mean, spin. So it's like an AC current, the AC-DC current. Anyway, there's videos. You can see videos on all these guys. They're actual videos of, of showing them functioning and stuff. Right. Joy Mylan, she has a sense of smell. And I know they had a big deal on the news about this gal. She was smelling her husband 10 years before this happened, by the way. And she could smell. He had kind of a musky smell about her. And, and she just thought it was kind of weird. And later on... Uh, down down the road, she found out the he has the beginning of Parkinson's disease. So you know how dogs can smell cancer starting on. If you don't know that, by the way, dogs have a, a, an incredible sense of smell. Yeah. Well, the dogs will smell uh, cancer on people. Mm-hmm. We found out. 
And uh, of course, we use them to find cadavers and stuff when they there's earthquakes and stuff like that. So their don't, sense of smell is incredible. Don't cats have the ability to kind of like sense when death is kind of coming too? Because they always go and sit with people in Is hospitals. that why they run when I get near them? <laughs> but cats have like okay. cats have been put in hospitals because they always can go to like people that cats, are passing. But you, you could be right. Well, you not cancer, right. but just people. But that anyway, are now this is but this is a person now. Yeah. And and <clears throat> I can I'll get a little bit more in depth with her only because her is really unique. They took her to a, a room where she was sitting in the room with a, a bunch of other people and when her husband was starting to go through the problem with their Parkinson's disease. They usually yeah. once they say once you start to have the symptoms it's already too late for them to do anything for you. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, when she sat in the room she said, These guys smell just like my husband. So they noticed it, and everyone that was in that room was that was that way. So they did an experiment with her, and they put her in a room with a whole bunch of people to find out if she could smell it. And she was 98% correct on the people that had Parkinson's disease. And why does it... So what they've done, just recently, they've been doing studies with her, and, and they've gotten to where they're tracking down the gene that can tell what that figure out what that smell is and they're getting really close but they're using her to do that study so they'll be able to uh, get people I don't know how they're going to do it you know like the mutating genes you never know how they do that crap you know I, don't I mean know. they do cloning so I cloning, can't yeah, that's mutation what I think as well yeah that's probably what they're going to try to do because they want to be able to get a head start on the Parkinson's disease because I, I guess if you can do something about it you can prolong the time before it starts and stuff. So right. that'd be nice to kind of know that ahead of time. And then there's uh, Isoa My Mikey, I guess says He has super fast speed reaction time. Okay. Now, how fast is he? He can split a BB coming out of a BB gun with a samurai sword. And what he'll do, he'll start swinging before they even shoot. The time the BB gets to him, he slays the BB in half. This guy splits peas in half on st on staffs and stuff like that, but he's super, super, super phenomenal with his speed and everything. So that's another guy. And that one, there's there you, there's uh, videos on him all the time. You can see those. Right. So there's a guy with super speed. Uh, Marus well, like super processing time, I think. I, I don't know, but you think about it, that's... They were saying that's kind of like how baseball people do when they're, uh, somebody pitches a fast ball to them. Mm -hmm. They process the speed because that ball's coming at you 90 miles an hour plus. Right. And they can still hit it. That That's pretty phenomenal. You think about it, you know, that's, that's coming at you pretty good. And it's a small ball, but you have to kind of determine where it's coming and stuff. But they do the same thing. They yeah. kind of start out a little bit before the swing. But anyhow, yeah, for example, there's a guy by the name Mar Marusolan. Magola, he's a magnetic person. I don't know the story to all the way about him. Uh, there's the last few His people polarity? I don't know. About. I don't know, but he's a magnetic person. Things he can actually, or you know, make things move. Then there's a ninja, a Nina, Nina probably it is, Kula Jenna, telekinesis. And there's a Luma Has Hasikra, muscle. Uh, it says I uh, muscle strength is probably what I meant to do. This kid was born, and at the age of six months, he could pull himself up with his own strength and stuff. Now that don't sound like much, but as the kid got older and older, he he became superhuman strength. He had what what had happened though in his particular case, he had a lack lack of myostatin. It's called yeah. myostatin. It's an inhibited uh, gene or whatever it is uh, that limits uh, and inhibits this, the growth of muscle. So he it was kind of his muscles were growing totally uninhibited. So now he's just, you know, he's a big, big old and kid. Bulky, yeah. and I've seen this kid. I mean, he kind of it's almost kind of. I wonder if he can regenerate fast too, like heal fast. Uh, then. That's a good question. I don't know because there was nothing ever said on that one at all. But um, anyway. That's the people I got down. Okay. Uh, there's a couple, like, I'll go back real quick. Like, and that Veronica Sider that has the eye 
uh, the vision. She has an equivalent to 5,000 to 20 vision. So what that means is she can recognize a person one mile away. Think about that. One, most people can't see a mile away, but she can recognize that person. Now you're talking about what we were trying I mean, to you watch. You can the... see a mile. It's just it starts getting. Oh, you can see. Blurry, but like it has the haze. I remember trying to shoot. Uh, when I was in the Marine Corps and I was trying to shoot at a rifle range. Yeah. At 500 yards away, it's a dot. A silhouette looks like a dot. So yeah. I can't imagine a mile away. It, it. Yeah, I would never be able to see it at all. And it's like your pixelation. We're talking about all the trouble, you know, getting all the that noise out of and everything. Insane. She noticed part of her problem was because when she's watching TV, she can see all the pixelation of the blue and red more than she could see the pictures. So it was really driving her crazy trying to watch the shows. I wonder if she's enjoying 4K now then. Oh, I bet. I'll bet. And uh, anyway, there, that's kind of like some of the things that I was telling you about. Um, yeah. So, are, does it exist? Yeah, it does. I um, think genetic mutation exists. I mean, that's pretty much, for example, what the X-Men were, right? Is they're all technically genetically mutated to have, like, this special gene or whatever. Um, I don't know. It, I mean, in that sense, you could consider that, and I know a lot of people will probably argue for this, is it could be, like, a sense of evolution, the beginnings of mm -hmm. the bodies trying to evolve to their next state, right? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, evolution obviously does exist in whatever sense you want to take that in for the prerequisites, right? But every species evolves depending on wherever it lives and what it lives yeah, through, right? Yeah, some very long, long, long time. Yeah. But, I mean, people have been around for a really long time, so it technically could be the next step. Now, in the case of something being there to maybe encourage it, maybe like the chemicals and things that we put into our bodies that I, might I be yeah. cancer-causing like or whatever. It'd be like falling in a vat of acid. No, i got super no, strength. No, not like that. Yeah. <laughs> As saying. your skin melts off yeah, your bones, yeah. I'm you might have strong. Super strength or... Oh, what the heck's going on here? No, no. No, but my point still being, though, is there could be things also maybe causing that. Who knows? Well, I, I, but you yeah, look at no, I, I two-headed definitely... snakes, three-headed snakes, you know, and, and they actually happen. And like people have got four or five toes, but that don't that's a mutation to me. There's a difference right there. So I mean, is that what you're saying? These guys outer... are. Mutation, mutation of the outer body then? versus the inner body. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. But on top of that, what you were originally talking about, too, you said, um, are heroes real? I now, did. are those people heroes, or are they just... Uh -huh. So... What do they do with it? I will say, first of all, Joe Joe Scott mm -hmm. happens to have his own podcast site. Is I think it's called Ask Joe. This is the biggest shout out we've ever done. Yeah, on this we've channel. never, and I normally wouldn't do that, but Joe, I got to give you credit for these are some of the names I got from your site, and I think you did this one not too long ago. Please sub. And, <laughs> yeah, <they're, laughs> well, sub you, you sub us. Uh, anyhow, but no sub for sub stuff. In all seriousness, though, um, he proposed some of these, and I got a lot of this information from that from his site. Uh, they he also kind of wrote a, a little thing on the back which I thought was interesting and I'd like to find out a little bit more about these characters here. Uh, there's Matt Fredericks, Ben Bolin, and Noel Brown. They wrote a book called Stuff They Don't Want You to Know, and it's our and it's talking about people with superhero abilities. Mm -hmm. And 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 I I I can't tell you what the book exactly about because I don't know. But by looking at it, it sounds like it, what it says is. The latter part says uh, amazing, uh, amazing, but are inherently dangerous. So I think what they were saying is they think there is quite a few people out there that have a lot of these kind of abilities, but are do they use them for the proper thing? And plus, do they even know they have them if it's something that they just grew up with? I would bet you the probably the majority of them not know about because I can I can see our government doing what the things that and that's what we're I mean that's really what brought this conversation about what what happens when there are people in in the, the world in the United States that have this superhuman abilities mm -hmm. IQ uh, vision you know or do they take them and cattle prod them and look through them and try to figure out 
you know, scientifically, I mean, what I gene can I take out? Just like that girl, they're doing yeah. that for her. The gene they could find that allows them to smell for Parkinson's. You know, that, that stuff happened. All I hate to tell you, but that's what the doctors did in Germany. Yeah, a lot of the Nazi doctors did to the Jewish people. They would use them for experiments, sew body arms to different parts of their body to see if it would grow and stuff. And of course, believe it or not. God forgive me for this, but it's true. A lot of advancements in medicine happened during that time. Because they didn't care for human decency. They didn't care about what happened. If yeah. it didn't work, oh well, grab another one, bring another one in. But we did find out a lot of stuff because of that. And a terrible way to find it, oh, for sure, no doubt. But it did happen. All right. So, all right, back to what I'm saying. So, Are uh, they heroes? Well, or are they just let's go back to people? what you were saying. You you brought out the or question about people. vigil antes. Uh, I was gonna get to that after the fact, but no. Okay, well, f- for example, that's what I think this guys here were talking about in their book. Is is the, is the government like? Do you think maybe the government stepping in a way and stopping a lot of those people that have those kind of abilities that could be using them in a bad way, or are they? Use them for scientific experiments, so you never hear about these people. But they're there. I would say, okay, for what I was going to bring up earlier, I know I don't have, like, specific names or whatnot, but I know that I've seen people through, like, YouTube and stuff where they go out and they dress up in their own little costumes and stuff, and just because they've had years of, um, like, martial arts or MMA training or whatever, mm-hmm. they go around and try to help people out if there's, like, muggings. Like, you're real vigilante. Yeah, yeah, like, if there's muggings happening, they don't wait for the cops. They just go out and, and take care of the situation. They don't kill the people or anything, but they do take care of the problem and take them in. And, I mean, the police ended up, you know, they're seen as a vigilante at first, mm-hmm. but just like Batman, they start working with the guy because he's going out and doing, like, his own... You say, so you think that's happening right now? No, it the is. The police are working with the people? Yeah, they, they're, I mean, it's just more of, a, like, a yeah. town situation, not so like why, a big city. So why haven't we heard about those things? I've Probably, never heard it. Tell. You just said say, something to me about it. I would say it was on a news um, broadcast, but I would say the reason why it's not blown out of proportion, first off, is because... <sighs> I don't know. I could take this multiple different routes, honestly, on why I think that it's not Go as big for of a thing. It. That's what we're here. Um, biggest reason being is because police and people don't want to try to encourage vigilanteism because they don't want people to get hurt. Absolutely. Where there's people that, like this guy, who are experienced in actual fighting and such, um, or even controlled and trained fighting, mm-hmm. to be able to go out and handle a situation. Now, is he going to go after a guy with a gun? Maybe. Who knows? But he would be more prepared than a person that just wants to go out and try to pretend to be a hero. But it's like and, during our black belt training, your yeah. black belt training. My, well, I mean, we had training brought, with gun stuff. You too, knew but that that was one that you're not going to win, right? It's just it's not likely. It's more of in the last case scenario. All right. So if somebody takes and gets all that training, black belt training, but to get mm. really, really good at it and then finds the armor that they could wear to protect themselves mm-hmm. against it. Why couldn't they be considered a superhero? Well, that's the point. That's what I'm saying. But just because that happens doesn't mean that everybody should go out and do it. No, because most people won't and take think, that time to do that. I think that's the biggest reason why they don't mm-hmm. make it a huge... Like, they want to do shout-outs to them, but they don't want to encourage it as a constant thing. Mm-hmm. Because, first off, we're in a country. They want law and order. They don't want people going out of the way of their own process because they don't want to get more people involved if they don't have control over it, Right. And then aside from that, also, people out there not knowing what they're doing and getting hurt in or the same instance of it. I think that's probably the else. main biggest reason. Um, but I still think the secondary reason is it goes back to kind of the control of being able to mm-hmm. make sure that there's not going to be outbursts of everything happening. Because, I mean, if you want to take it on like a comic sense, we can go way out there and say, like, for example, the Justice League. How does like an entire world deal with some group of Bi- extraordinary yeah. people that could literally blow up the entire it's, place? <laughs> it's like the Incredibles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got rid of the supers, is what they yeah, call them. Yeah, that's that. like the supers. It, that's and I look at that because I could see our government doing that, and then some guy 
putting a brace around his neck. They hurt me. They broke my neck. And the guy was actually saved his freaking life. But yeah. you could see that happening. You know? Well, everybody's too happy, so of course. Oh, heck yeah. But, but anyway. going back to that same point, what I guess entail for the vigilante factor or for these extraordinary people and all that, what entails what and who a hero is? Because I would say, at least in my opinion, I would say that it's somebody that's aiming to be good. I mean, because good can be seen in a lot of different senses, right? And I'm not saying in like a murder sense or something like that. Although, for what I discussed earlier with Red Hood, he sees that as a good thing, right? Taking care of scumbags is what he calls them. Um, which, I mean, if you're trying to sell off children, I don't think that's... What was Spidey's uncle's name? Ben Parker. Ben Parker. What did Ben Parker say about that? With great power comes great responsibility. That is exactly right. And but, that's a problem. But go ahead. But that's just what I makes think me think about it. The no. thing that can that correlates to a hero is still trying to follow at least the main gist of society's rules, right? But going out of the way to do what's right overall for the better of people. Truth, and justice, not, and the American way. And that's but, why I like Superman. But not for just yourself, for no, and society exactly. and for the people well, that you're yeah. trying to take care of. But I think following most of society, society's rules so that way there's not outbursts and everybody's trying to revolt against them unless you have good reason behind it, I think would probably be the best way. Because, I mean, probably to some people, like you discussed earlier with mm -hmm. Nazi Germany, I mean, probably to some people they thought they were doing hero work, right? But that's not... Yeah. That see that's that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Though to me that's that's the problem. Determining like said, what's good, what is good, and who's gonna say what's good. Yeah, and that's the problem with having a governments that are too big mm -hmm. is letting that government decide what's good and what's not good because everybody has their interpretation and of that. Talking about that too, if you want to go back on the comic book sense, because mm -hmm. we're talking about heroes and stuff, there was a plot line. It was called the Injustice plot line in DC. Yep. And pretty much in that plot line, Joker, the start of it and how it all happens, Joker um, drugs Superman into killing Lois because he thinks that it's, um, what is it, um, Apocalypse, uh, oh, what's his name, um, Abomination, I think. He convinces Superman that he's fighting Abomination, but it's mm. actually Lois, and he takes her up into space and kills her and her kid, their kid, because mm. she's still pregnant. And then blows up a nuke in the middle of Metropolis. So I Superman, didn't, I didn't see that one. Superman comes back down, and Batman's like, you know, stop, like, don't do whatever. Like, we need to take him to jail. And he's like, I don't care. He rips his hand through Joker's gut, and he pretty much becomes a dictator after that. Hmm. It's because he wants to make sure nothing else that terrible can happen again. Because that mm -hmm. is leveled an entire city. Plus, it killed his wife and his future kid. He's like, never again. So he becomes a dictator for justice. Yeah. But Batman doesn't like that. So what, I guess, is good? What is good and what is... Because to everybody, is going to be a different answer. You know, we all think we know what good and bad is. But it's not... You know, everybody acts like it's a white and black thing, right? But there's a lot of gray in there. Yeah. You know? Well, I don't, you remember the movie Jumpers? Jumper. Jumper, yeah. oh my gosh. The teleportation. Yeah, the guy was a super, he's super, technically a superhero. He could teleport anywhere, yeah. and he didn't figure Any it out until later. And it was the same guy that played Anakin, actually, yes, in Star Wars. Yes, it was. It actually and was, but very good show. Really good show. It was a really good movie. And yeah. But that was part, of the, they had the government, they had, uh, who, who's the black guy again? Oh, I'm sorry, guy. He, he Where's the patch? The main guy on, uh, on the Avengers, right? He, come on, don't shield. Shield's main guy. <laughs> You're gonna let me hang on this one, aren't you? Answer, mm -hmm. answer, guys. Anyway, you're thinking so, of Samuel L. Jackson. Sam, yeah, it's, it's Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, he's a jumper. He's the guy that he's killing all the other jumpers and the guys that are jumping. I don't think that he was the guy that played. I think he was. You look at him. Pause. Sure. I do not think it's him. I'm just. All right. Well, anyway, while he's doing that, I'm pretty sure it was. He was in that particular deal. He was part of the government, and he said that they don't have a right to live because nobody can do that and be allowed to do that. So I could see a government doing that type of thing for the people 
that really would have the possibility of using superhuman strength to do things that weren't right. And I think that's this one Ooh. book I was telling you about. Oh, you were right. Of you course right. I was. Anyway, <laughs> you better oh, put a star oh, underneath this, Ooh. baby. You better put a star on that one. You tried. <laughs> he, he destroyed me on the other one when we were talking about, about getting the all Joker. the ages correct. Yeah, that was awesome. Right. Well, I did. See what all I right. did there, by the on way. I did. I did. Yes, I did. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so, so no, anyhow, it was Samuel L. Jackson. You it are was correct. Samuel L. Jackson, right? And he's mean mother in that point. And he's he does always, kill people. He's and always badass. What do you mean? Yeah. But I mean, in that particular, like the guy was getting money from the bank and. Robbing and the bank robbing and, banks and beating stuff, up but, his that guy that was bullying him yeah. ever since he was and young. And he was doing things. Yeah, he was doing things that didn't really hurt anybody though. I mean, he beating was, up that guy hurt him pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, but he really kind of left him in, a, in, a, in another vault someplace. I mean, he, he let him almost him. drown under the ice. Yeah, but that was did. how he teleported but the first time. But he saved him. He saved him. We did. No, he didn't. He he scared him to death, that was for sure. <laughs> Anyhow, but I'm saying, then later on he just decided to make his life just relaxed and calm and everything. He wasn't bugging yeah. anybody. And so he wasn't using it in a bad way, even though he had the ability. But somebody in the government says, you can't have that, you know. And they started killing them off. Right, they were killing them off. So... Kind of like the mutation thing with X-Men. the X Men. Yeah, well, having the giant, uh, whatever so, they called the big, big boy machines that start yeah. killing them all. I can't remember. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is, all these guys are got these abilities and stuff. I I do believe myself, and that was part of what the, my original conversation was. Mm -hmm. Do we have people out there that actually have some of these abilities that could help people and oh, be a vigilante in a good way? I definitely agree that they. They do exist for sure. But Should we question, allow them to do those things? Then that's the key. Actually, become superheroes. I think it would. Okay, on that sense, I think it would have to. And I'm not for comic wise. I'm not agreeing on that, right? Because I understand how the comic characters work. Because you can see inside of them, right? Sure. But IRL, I would definitely think it would have to be like the Suicide Squad type of deal, where somebody is monitoring it with like Amanda Waller, right? Mm -hmm. where she is monitoring over them and watching them and making sure that they don't get out of hand because obviously Suicide Squad is like a bunch Shield. of mini villains, right? Mm -hmm. Or S.H.I.E.L.D. where they're controlling the heroes and trying to watch them even though they end up making the Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't really have control anymore at that point. Mm -hmm. But Or even like with the Justice League where Batman always has a way to take out a hero if they become out of hand. He always makes a... Um, uh, Example? Or... N no, the final... Like a what if scenario, I can't oh, think of what okay. the word is. Yeah, um, uh, Doomsday scenario. Uh, sure, we'll just say that okay. there's some word, um, but he has a word that he uses, and just a, a what if in case one of the heroes go rogue or bad or something, if he needs to take them out, there's always a way, and he even makes one for himself, like it's a plan B, right? Um, so pretty much, I think yes let them do what they want to do right mm -hmm. if they want to be heroes let them be heroes but make sure that there's still somebody watching them too monitoring them yeah somehow. because i mean there's going to be people that are going to government intervention again no i don't know That's if i a... would say government yeah, intervention. i bet you it's I'm happening saying somebody's though. own group i mean i i sound like now i sound like one of those guys uh, the government blew up this building what we call those guys the, the government's turning the freaking frogs gay yeah but what do you know what i'm saying yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Anyhow, but yeah, <laughs> I that's, a that's what I'm there. saying. But that's what we sound like, partly. Yeah. But you don't hear, and, and as much as people that I've just read, there's just ten of them. Yeah. I I guarantee you, there's probably a million people with with really neat superhero strengths mm -hmm. like that or abilities, and you don't hear much about them at all until somebody like this YouTuber guy. You know, went ahead and said, yeah, there's five people right here. I got my Batmobile, and yeah. I got my cape, and I'm going to go out and do hero and work. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. And I could see somebody that actually doing like that. I could see the somebody getting, money. getting the proper uh, bulletproof stuff and and having those abilities, those, uh, you know, black belt abilities and stuff, and yeah. just kicking butt, you know. But then who's to say that's right or wrong? Your police force then doesn't really... 
I mean, if it's like the same thing with Batman where he starts working with them and they actually start to know each other and everything, then that's a little mm-hmm. different. But, I mean, if they're trying to specifically avoid police, like, for example, my character I said earlier, Red Hood, mm-hmm. avoiding police and trying not to work with them and take care of business himself, that's a little bit different scenario, you know? That's where he becomes the judge and jury. Vigilant, you know? But that's what real vigilantism is. It is it much, though? Yeah, I think oh, yeah, vigilantism being... is more on the side of doing what you want without concern for what the law says. Because by technical sense, law has oh, to that's have. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it has to have police intervention. Just because mm. there's police intervention, for example, with Spider-Man, he works with the police, but he's still technically considered vigilante. Eh, that was just uh, his boss. No, he still would be considered a vigilante because he's not hired by the police. Mm, yeah, it's true, I suppose. But then It'd where you have like, Red Hood going, uh, showing up with an AK-47 and mowing everybody down or cutting, off, right there. or cutting off heads. But Daredevil but pretty much did the same thing. That's what I'm Daredevil saying. Daredevil didn't do that. Daredevil didn't want to kill people. Oh, yes, he did. That was Punisher you're thinking of. No, I'm thinking of Daredevil, too. He wanted to get the main guy. What was his name? Kingpin. Uh, Kingpin. But he, he fought himself on him. wanting to and kill him, And he stopped him, him at the end. He wanted right? to stop him, but yeah. he was going to... He was having. A, he was like Batman. He was having a hard time trying to determine whether he wanted to kill the guy or not. Mm-hmm. And he was getting to the point where he thought he needed to because he was driving him insane. But it all comes back down to le- le- whoever decides that if they had the abilities mm-hmm. and we know they're out there, we do. And they and they would do all the rest of the stuff that would be and like like I said, make themselves vul- invulnerable or vulnerable, invulnerable. To bullets or, or being beat to death because you got that special armor and stuff. Mm-hmm. Then you have those abilities too, and you put them work. But we're still leaving it up to them to do the right thing. Yep. But I mean, that's all of life, though, too. That same absolutely. That's a, and kind of like what we reference, which I mean, I cut out and whatnot. But kind of what we referenced on the One Joker podcast too, um, with concealed carries and stuff. It's the same mm-hmm. kind of thing. It's a power over people, you know. Um, so where is, but do you know, uh, anyway, I'm sorry, fully into the debate, we won't, but but just a real question. Yeah. I'll just make it real simple. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do the conceal and carry and that, that do carry it. They're not doing it for that reason. They do it because they want to protect themselves and have a possibility protecting somebody else. And they go through the training for it. Right. And I mean, I agree with that, but I'm saying the same ordeal though. It's something that gets you at a higher standpoint right sure. like it puts you above the rest yep right same thing with the powers that you were just talking about so in that sense if it's something that can no like without the super sight type of deal right i'm talking about like maybe the um the being able to give off energy mm-hmm. the conducting energy or like the polarization with um being able to be magnetic right yeah those types of things could actually affect people Oh, they could affect people. You could could destroy somebody's computer in a matter of of a heartbeat (laughs) and totally get rid of all medical records or whatever. So you could use that for good or bad, too. Right. That's what I'm saying. So I could see why anybody that's in a government in that type of uh, work that they would do would say, okay, this is somebody we're going to watch. Or watch this person because he was born and his IQ was really, really high. So watching this guy as he grows up, see what kind of person he turns out as to be. As long as it's not like YouTube where they're like, oh, you typed in this one acronym, now we that's, have to ban you. We don't know that, though. That's my point. Uh, and I hate to say it, but that's what it feels like at times. But then that sounds like I'm a conspiracist theory, theorist. I mean, technically, and I'm not, you can't really but, avoid conspiracy stuff, though, because... If there's something that exists that you do not have answers for, there's always going to be thoughts and theories on what it is. It doesn't matter how in-depth or whatever it is. There's still always going to be conspiracies or ideas of what things are. So it doesn't matter if you sound like it because it's inevitable to dodge or avoid. All right. So what do you now? Let's go back to the original thought. Mm -hmm. So do you think it it would be good to have a. Why not? Have them be involved in public service and protection or doing but, their own but group? as a vigilante or just say, okay, we know they exist, so let's have them start doing stuff. To work I would with say them. if they want to do something, 
why not do it right like for example the person that has you said like 2000 to 20 or 5000 to 20 5000 to 20 yeah for example have her i mean heck she could watch pretty much anything that's one massive thing right there as it is she can be on a watch hour she could be monitoring all sorts of different stuff if she can see pixelization that well she could mo literally monitor cameras and be able to see every single detail you know so yep. something like that i mean if she wanted to do that letter you know she could make easy money off of that that would be a real good way to make an income if she wanted to do it mm -hmm. down bud yeah, um, I, I imagine you could but and even with like the um being polarized with uh magnetism and such there i don't know there's all sorts of different things you could do with stuff like that i mean heck so, you could even go into and, like and a chemistry teacher and be like Woo, well that's what i'm know? saying so all that stuff those people that know they can do that stuff mm -hmm. and, and be like I said, I, I was using the jumper as a, a a thing. He could he could use that in a bad way. Somebody that's got that magnetism could be using that in a bad way too. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I guess it's just the way it goes. It unless you have a a government that's all powerful that's telling you you can't do anything. You're kind of still leaving all those choices up to those individuals, the vigilantiness. Um, right, more or less to come out and do it or not. So, or does it make it right or wrong? I don't know. I don't think we we don't want a government that tells us that we can be a superhero or not. I don't think we want to do that. I think the offer should be available, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. I agree. That's what I'm saying. I agree with you on that case, but it's because you like the idea of the intense freedom. That's where exactly. you're, that's where exactly. your mind that's is. That's where it is. That's and then, exactly right. I mean, mine, I like the idea of the freedom, but at the same time, you know, if you have an ability like that in the first place that you shouldn't be forced to use it, it's just, you should want to use it. You know, yeah. like if you got a talent or something of that nature, I, you don't have to go into like governmental positions or military and stuff. But I mean, why not? Like I said, with the, magnetism i mean you could just even be a chemistry teacher just to show off something really neat or whatever you know so i don't if but <laughs> see it gets really deep because you start thinking about x-men and stuff mm -hmm. and the stuff that the ability that they had and stuff and we're talking i mean obviously Emma that's... frost with her diamond skin oh that's what i'm saying we we thought we watch that stuff as we're growing up but every anybody's ability to do stuff like that can be used in a bad way yeah it's just like having a knife or That's a gun people it, it's exactly right so anyway i i think it should be wow. something that would be available i think as long as police and law enforcement knew about what's going on and they have a common ground i think vigilanteism would be okay like same sense of batman where he does his own thing but they know that he's doing it Mm -hmm. in a good term like good terms right but having it to where it's i mean everything's going to be out of control as a start that's just i mean it's the same type of deal with starting a new business right is you or don't legalizing pot that's not quite the same thing <laughs> <laughs> another subject <laughs> <laughs> That's not the same thing. But, like, for example, starting a new business, you have no idea where it's going to go. You're kind of no, out in the open going out there. You don't really have a full idea of you've, if it's going to have, like, a final idea of where it's going to go, right? You don't have a right. full conceptualization of what's going to happen. But you know who you are and what you want for it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the same type of thing with if you're going to be a vigilante. You don't know where it's going to go, but you're going to try to do it because it's the thing that you want to do and it's the thing you want to go for, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as long as you have a good moral sense and you know that you want to work with them and whatnot, I'm sure it would be a fine thing as long as you're not going to get yourself hurt. And I, I think if you did, like we're talking about, if you did have, it, it sounds crazy, but I mm -hmm. mean, that's part of the, what this podcast is about. The craziness of it but we do know that there are people with those abilities so i think if you could do like what shield is doing have an agency like that that could actually that's not connected to the government directly yeah exactly like a branch maybe but still have people with with the uh the in concern of the united states or and i guess care, i know yeah. other people listening and say I'm, of course, I'm talking about the United States, but I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, really. I the say United States. The safety of the States. people. 
is of what the people, you mean. everybody, mm-hmm. and freedom and and of of everybody, not just the United States. So excuse me for saying that, but um, he's yeah, very I, American oriented. Yeah, I am. So, but but having everybody's freedom and freedom and everybody's concern and you know, uh, you know in in their mind when they're thinking about these things, mm-hmm. I think that type of agency would be great to do that, right. and and then have those people funneled to that so they could really be an asset to people in general. So yeah, I think it for human for human beings on the on the world, if you did that, I think it would be great. Not I would for, agree, but country. as long as there's not crazy amounts of secrets like they're that are going on right now. And I think that's one you thing. You guys still protect people. Right. But at the same time, what's protection worth if you're not also educated? Well, I agree. Because there's a, well, some things out like going on, for example, across seas with all sorts of different countries and mm-hmm. stuff that we don't even get to hear about. You mm-hmm. know, like we're mm-hmm. left in the dark and... Like, are you agreeing or are you disagreeing? No, I'm agreeing. It's, okay. It's way too much. Yeah, way and it's much. like so, things like that I just I don't agree with because there's a point of protection and there's a point of trying to leave everyone in the dark so we're dumber for whatever it's worth, you know? And <sighs> But see, that's that's why I when I mentioned saying I, I mentioned the United States or America. Because it's America, cause it's what you know the, best too. the basic idea of freedom mm-hmm. is a big, big one to us. That's what we're founded on. That's what we'll always look at, and that's what we'll fight for. And that's why we fight so hard is because, as, and I'll go back, like Superman said at the end of it, he always say, freedom, justice in the American way, the American way, because it's about freedom and justice. Mm-hmm. And being just people and a, a just nation, so even though I, there's a lot of corrupt ones in there. Oh, there is, and you know, but you know what? You get that no matter where you're at, right? You know, you do. I mean, there's people when they get power, they're gonna abuse it, and I guess that's the bottom line. You know, the people that do have all these superpowers. Well, what you just said, though, if people that have powers are going to abuse it. Some people do, not all people, obviously. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it gives a agree. possibility that, that it's going to happen. There needs if if people start developing more than you know, because that's pretty for evolution, genetics, whatever you want to call that whole mm-hmm. ordeal that's going on. Um, you know, that's pretty low. Like it's very impressive, right, for real life, right? But it's not like crazy stuff that you see in the comics and all that. I think uh, it's pretty know. low level right now, right? But and there could be people out there that but have as all that. But genetics, good. Yeah, and I mean it could extend a lot further. But at sure. the current moment, I don't think that there needs to be a group or anything like that. I think gotcha. you know going yeah. into social services would be something yeah. that'd be cool. But it should be discussed because human evolution, as well as all the different types of chemicals and things that are happening nowadays, and all the different things that we shove inside ourselves. AI. That too. AI too, because uh, that's that's a whole other. It's more. It's the moral aspect of things that are mm-hmm. coming. It is. So that's that's partly what it is. And I think that's something like we discussed before with the taboos. I think that is. That's what's annoying is that we think discussing all sorts of different things is more annoying in our culture, and it's becoming more clear now like that we want to discuss those things because everybody's bringing all sorts of topics up to the table and some people get way too passionate about some of them and i keep it as passionate but you know sometimes it's aggressive and all that but i don't know i'm I'm glad that we as a society and a country and even as a world right now are getting a lot more comfortable discussing so much variety about topics that even used to be taboo right i mean heck you can go on a podcast and i know there's one podcast I watch. It's from Rooster Teeth. It's uh, Always Open with Barbara. Mm-hmm. I, I know I've shown you that before. Sponsor, wink. Yeah, um, I've seen it. But yeah. they've discussed on it before, literally on how they wipe when they go yes. to the bathroom. Yep, yep, and, yep. you know, there's people out there apparently that stand. There's people that apparently sit down, you know. It, and it's like no, the other sides don't know about each other. And it's just stuff like that, you know. It's like the variety of what we discuss about now compared to what it was, what? Do you dip? 
That's I'm sorry. That's I another like one of those things. A good smelling though. booty. I like that, a good smelling booty. That's that's another but, one of those yeah. things. Though, but yeah. I don't know. I think with the heroes, there would have to be. It needs to be discussed, right? Because it is a serious thing. Because evolution it is, does because, exist. Like you said, and as as genes can be multi- mutated, yeah, and 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 we can start cloning things. We got to start thinking about those things ahead of time. I mean, think of all the things we can put in our bodies point. now too. Absolutely. I mean, you could probably. I mean, I was watching it the other day, and I know it's an anime, right? But I was watching an anime called Baki, and there was these martial artists that would go way out of their way just to put, like, knives and stuff that would pop out of their bodies. And, you know, that's an extreme sense. But, I mean, the same example of, like, Wolverine with, like, Mm -hmm. having the claws pop out. But if you could figure out a way to make the muscles and stuff like that be able to do things. Okay, you got people that are looking to look like cats. Yeah, they exist. Cats and aliens. So they make and whiskers. Demons. I'll have steel whiskers put in their yeah in their face, and you look at them, they look like a cat. Yeah, they're cat people. That's what they call them. They're and, furries. Yeah, and they they like doing that. That's what they they work normal jobs yeah. at, at computer places and stuff, and that's what type of people they are. So all that that stuff's gonna happen. But like you said, I think we need to get to a point where. You got to be able to start to discussing yeah. the morality of it, and what's, and that's eventually. I'd like to talk about AIs too. I, I think and one that I really want to discuss at least in our next episode, mm-hmm. because we were talking about you know Superman and stuff like that. Right. Talk about aliens. Oh yes, let's do that. I think yeah. that's a ne- that good transition. That's a great transition. What also, do they call that? What do they call that? A uh, smooth transition. Yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Close enough. Anyway, yep. uh, <laughs> no, I, I like that. Never freaking remember it. Let's do that. That's. Uh, I think that's a great topic for the next one. Segway. Mm, I remember. Segway. <laughs> it's a good segue. You're doing better than I am at some of the stuff I was trying to remember. I'm on. I'm on three hours of sleep and I'm on top of it today. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, I think that'll be a good one. But what do you guys think? Do you think vigilantes are a good thing? Um, what do you guys feel about you know evolution, genetics, whatever you want to call it, mutations? Um, mutants. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Um, do you know somebody that's a mutant? I'm serious. Special abilities. Yeah, Not just special. wiggling your eyes because we both can do that. Yeah, see, we can but, wiggle our eyes. Yes. Um, I don't know. Do you guys know somebody that maybe is super smart? And I don't just mean like a high IQ. I mean they are incredibly yeah, out, yeah, over the top. Good. Stuff like that. Let us know. We're genuinely curious. Yep. Do tell. Um, but I think I think that's pretty much it. We that's agreed it. on yeah. agreed on that one. We do. I mean, like, we, we disagreed do, on but... a couple things in there. I know. Yep. But yep, yep. I think mo- overall we mostly agree that. Mm-hmm. But not for the group thing. Not too much control. But yeah, like at least a branch of the government or something like that. And I think that'd be good. So, but yeah. Any if, final? If it happens, but we know that the big thing is they do happen. We do know out there is superhero people Less... out there, but. Last yeah, question ahead. I want to ask: Do you think there already is something like that in existence, but it's not known? Last question I'll finish with. I'm not a theorist, but I'm telling you, I I'm pretty sure. Agreed. There's a couple reasons why I say that, but I'll leave it at that. I mean, now's the time if no, you want to do a, it. No, that's that's well, no, no, the, the, for a later time. We that, need a that'll later take us. Time. That'll take us to another segue. Remember, write it down right okay. now. Write it down. I, I will. It's in my mind. It's in okay. My pocket right here. Yeah, write it down. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Final words. You want to say anything? Nope. Just. Uh, I would like to thank know. our special guest, Carolina Rivas. <laughs> <laughs> and Kirby. Kirby's over here. They're <laughs> always here. I got to insert a poyo right there for the edit. Just poyo. Okay. <laughs> It's this thing. I got it. I see it. Uh, oh, I hit my mark. <laughs> okay, final words. Uh, no, just uh, stay creative. I know that's a little bit too Oh, let's see if he remembers. Outro, let's it. see. No, be positive. Stay uh-huh. creative. Uh, no, I don't. That's the two I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys all for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, follow, sub. Mm-hmm. Check out all those links down below in the description. We do have shirts. Just saying. Merch right there. Oh, please, man. I, You know what we need to do? Yeah. Uh, then the next one, we're going to set a shirt out here so you guys can look at it. Yeah, I They're can go cool. Grab one. Well, they are pretty cool. I have. Oh, actually, I didn't tell you, but when I went over to uh, one of my buddy's parties the other night, mm-hmm. right? Um, 
everybody when I first got there, sorry, just interruption real quick. Everybody when I first got there, they all thought my hair was black. And then when I went out into the light, they, it was probably like 30 minutes to an hour after I was already mm-hmm. there. They seen it in the light and they were like, where's your hair purple since you've got here? <laughs> and like, I'm like, no, I had this. I only had a uh, one time superpower use. It was to change my hair. And I thought this oh, was super. the perfect. This was the perfect <laughs> time. See, there that's a go. perfect that's transition. Funny. OK, anyway, segue. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, hope you guys all have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, afternoon. Stay positive. Stay creative. Um, like I said, check out all those links, please. Please do it, do it down yes. below. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, yep. YouTube, do it right down there. But anyways, uh, and aside from that, donate. <laughs> no, uh, share the channel, please, and make sure yes, you turn on that please. notification bell because that way you always know. I seen the percentages the other day, and there's less than half of you that have that notification bell on. I know, I see it. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Talk to you all later. Love you guys. Thank you. Peace out. Eat. Oh. Oh.